The first pro of starting a Webbable shop is that by doing so, you can create a passive income stream for yourself. After you set up your shop, found all your tags, wrote all your product descriptions, and have a consistent stream of people coming in your shop, you will effectively be making money while you are sleeping because Redbubble handles everything. They do the packaging, the shipping, the logistics, the printing, the customer service, the advertisements, etc, etc, etc. And this is huge for beginners because the truth is that if you have no experience with any of the things I just mentioned, you are basically doomed to fail in your business. Number two, there is a lot of flexibility in Redbubble because if you decide to not work for a couple of weeks and not upload any new designs or anything, then everything is still going to be fine and you will still be selling items whenever people want to buy items. And this is simply not going to be the case if you would be doing everything yourself because if you're doing everything yourself, you don't have the luxury to just randomly close your shop down for a couple of weeks because you you want to go on vacation for example. Now you might ask yourself, well, if I want to go on vacation, I can just outsource everything in my business for a week or two, and then I can go on vacation. And if that's what you're thinking, then you're kind of right, except for the fact that right before you go on vacation, something might go wrong with your website, for example, and then you have to stay home anyway, because you have to fix those problems. And so yes, in theory, it's completely possible to go on vacation while building your e-commerce store, except for the fact that it isn't, and you will never go on vacation in the first couple of years, unless you use a site like Redbubble that gives you that type of flexibility. Pro number three, working with a site like Redbubble will generate more trust among your potential buyers, which will result in more sales. When people are shopping on Redbubble, they know that if they don't like the product, they can just trust the return policy and get a refund or a new product. And they might not trust that if they are browsing on the website of an unknown artist that doesn't convey that trust element enough. And trust is one of the key aspects of sales. If people don't trust the website they are buying from, they will simply not be buying anything. The fourth pro, if you work with Redbubble, you don't have to do any product research, which is huge because in the world of e-commerce, the two most important things are product research and driving traffic. Product research is so important that if you have an amazing product and you do everything else wrong, you will still be selling product. And if you have a shitty product and you do everything else right, you will still be not selling anything. And so choosing a part where you allow professionals to handle the product research for you so that you definitely don't make a mistake in that crucial aspect of your business might be a smart choice. Number five, when using Redbubble, you will be saving a lot of time that you can then invest in things that are more fun and rewarding than packaging products, for example. Because here's the thing, if you want to do everything a POD company does in-house, the packaging, the shipping, the replying to 200 emails a week, the logistics of storage, the printing, the orders, and the etc., then you will be spending all your time doing exactly that, meaning that you will barely have time to make art or design new things. And so this dream of creating the most amazing art 50 hours a week while having a social life and here and there maintaining your business doesn't actually exist. The reality is that you either do it yourself, which is 60 hours a week of boring things that are not making art, in the hope that you can one day outsource things and make it passive or you use POD sites like Redbubble that can make it passive from the start. Number six, starting your Redbubble store is beginner friendly in that it's very easy to start. You only need designs and an internet connection, meaning that you could potentially sell your first design tomorrow. This is obviously not the case if you have to learn website building, printmaking, e-commerce, customer support, sales, advertisement, and all of that stuff yourself. And this is huge because the truth is that doing all of these things yourself takes so much time and effort that the far majority of people who try that quit before they make their first sale. Now, after hearing all of these positive things, you might be thinking by yourself, why is not everyone using Redbubble? It sounds like a dream. Well, the reason is, of course, that there are a lot of cons as well, and some of them are so bad that you could start thinking that Redbubble is a scam only young and inexperienced people fall into. So let's go over them. The first con is that your design can easily be stolen on Redbubble. People are constantly crawling those types of marketplaces to see what is selling best, and whenever they find some designs that are selling very well, they will literally copy those designs or create designs that are extremely similar and 
and start selling that. This is one of the reasons that when you are browsing on Webbubble, you will see very similar things as if everyone copied each other. And so the lifespan of your designs is extremely short, which reduces the lifespan of your passive income stream, making it perhaps not as passive as you originally thought. The second con, you will be making substantially less money if you outsource everything to a POD company because they have to take a huge cut out of those profits themselves. And if you are working with Redbubble, they don't have any printing facilities themselves and so they are outsourcing that. In other words, when you are working with Redbubble, there's a third company that's also taking cuts out of your profits. This is why the profit margins on Redbubble are even smaller than on other POD sites. Number three, yes, you can create a passive income stream for yourself through Redbubble, but only if you are selling your soul. What I mean with that is that the only way to make your store passive is to use Redbubble SEO. And the only way to win on Redbubble SEO is to make sure that your designs are in line with what people are searching for on Redbubble. And what people are searching for on Redbubble is most likely not something you want to make. I'm thinking about pattern designs, commercial art, fan art, and seascapes and things like that. If you are, for example, selling beautiful, intellectually stimulating and funny Banksy-like designs that reflect on the problems in society, then nobody will buy your stuff because nobody is searching for that on Redbubble. Number four, another con is that you don't own any of the data of your customer and you might have heard that data is the new gold. But what does the new gold mean in the e-commerce world? Well, it means that the website that customers are shopping on is collecting data on those customers to then create advertisements based on that data. Here's what will happen. A customer will put five shirts in their basket, but for some reason, they will not proceed with the purchase. What the company that owns the website will then do is create an ad for those types of website visitors and show them the shirts that they know they are interested in because they put it in the basket a couple of days earlier. These types of ads are called retargeting campaign ads and are the most effective type of advertisement on the internet at this moment. And you as a business owner ideally want to be making those ads yourself by having your own website, which is not going to be possible if you are using Redbubble because in Redbubble's case, they will obviously be the ones that are collecting that gold. Number six, if you are working with a site like Redbubble, you will not have any customers no matter what you try. What I mean with that is that all the people who are buying on Redbubble are buying from Redbubble and not from you. First of all, Redbubble has all the customer information and can then start creating those retargeting campaign ads that we've just explained. But not only that, if you work with Redbubble, your customers will think that they bought from Redbubble and not from you. Here's what's going to happen five years from now. People will say, hey Alexa, I need five new shirts. What are the top five trending designs on Redbubble at this moment? Because they remember buying from Redbubble and they are not going to say, hey Alexa, three years ago I bought this I Love Bacon periodically shirt from Redbubble but forgot the name of the designer. Could you please show me some other designs of him? And the reason they are not going to say that is because they are not saying that at this moment, if you bought a shirt from H&M and you want to buy a shirt that's very similar, you're just going to go to H&M and buy a shirt that's very similar. You will not search up online which designer designed that particular shirt that was hanging there to then buy something from that designer again. Number seven, if you use Redbubble, you cannot customize the packaging, meaning you cannot brand yourself through the package and cannot customize the customer experience. And this is huge because we are going towards a world where where everything is a commodity and where the only differentiator will be the brand behind a particular product. We are going towards a world where you are going to say, hey Alexa, can you buy me five shirts? And then Alexa will give you five normal, regular, brandless shirts. And if you want a particular brand, you will have to say, hey Alexa, buy me five Nike shirts. In other words, it will be very lucrative for Nike if people know their name. And one way to make sure people know your name is by branding the packaging. Number eight, we should compare Redbubble to some other POD sites that are cheaper, that are more famous and therefore have more traffic on them that allow to sell on your own website and that have different products that might be more or less in line with the needs of artists and designers out there. But talking about those alternatives would be another 15 minutes and a completely different video. And so I'm very sorry, but we are not going to do that predominantly because I already did. It's called Redbubble VS Printful, the best print on demand supplier. It's linked up in the description and in the end screen. That's it. Get the hell out of here.